So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're gonna repeat this three times. So, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you wanna click on advanced options. And now once you're on this, I'm gonna be showing you two different ways on how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you do not see system restore in this list, then you wanna click on seam recovery options then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on system restore. If you have any restore points enabled on your computer, then you wanna click on next and then go back to your restore point. They should then fix your problem. If you do not have any restore points enabled, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. And now for the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options. Now we're gonna go with command prompt. And now once you're on the command prompt, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that scan has been done, you now wanna type in verifier space forward slash reset. Click on enter. It should have now reset your settings. In my case, I do not have this problem, so that's why it says no settings were changed. But there may also be a chance, even in your case, it might also be saying no settings were changed. But either way, we're now gonna close out of command prompt. Now you wanna continue to Windows, and then the problem should be fixed. 